Hello and welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a blast bolt as seen in many sci-fi movies. This one's mainly based off of the blast bolts seen in Star Wars, but you can tweak it and change it to create any form of blaster that you would like. This effect can be made completely inside of Hit Film Express with no add-ons, so without further ado, let's begin. The first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composite shot out of your footage. I have already done this and I've also already keyed out the green screen that I was stood in front of. There will be links in the description to some great green screening tutorials by a number of different people. Then you want to move your playhead to the point where the blaster bolt is fired. So for me it's just here. Then create a new layer and select plane. Then make sure that it's black and name it whatever you would like to name it. Right click on this black plane and set its blend mode to add. Then in the effects tab, search for light sword two point auto. Then drag and drop this onto the black plane. Now go into the light sword two point auto controls and open the effect and go into the core controls and set the color from this light blue to white. Then set the feather from 75% to 10%. Then in the inner glow settings, change the width from 120 to 0. This will remove the glow as we're going to be adding a glow using glow effects afterwards. Then move your hilt and tip points to the barrel of your gun. And then on the frames that you wish your blaster bolt to be fired, start keyframing for hilt and tip. Move ahead by two frames and set the tip position to your target. For me, this is off screen as I'm just firing my blaster off screen. Then advance by another two frames and set the hilt position to being off screen as well. As you can see, this creates some weird wavy line and sometimes you can get away with it but sometimes it just looks a bit weird. So just go through and alter some of the keyframes to make it work a bit better. So once you get something you like, go back to the effects tab and search for heat distortion. Drag and drop this below the light or 2.0 effect. Then change the distortion, the diffusion bias, and the diffusion strength to something a bit lower. This is just to create a bolt that looks a bit more warm and slightly more distorted. Then go back to the effects tab and search for glow. Drag and drop the glow effect onto this plane. Set the radius to be something quite low, something around 30, and set the intensity to be something quite high. This means that it's hugging the bolt, but it's also brighter. So then in the per channel intensity controls, set the red to 2, and leave all the others the same. Then duplicate this glow, decrease the intensity, and increase the radius. Then in the per channel intensity controls, lower the green and the blue. Then duplicate this glow one more time. Decrease the intensity, increase the radius in the per channel intensity controls. Set the green and the blue to zero. So now we have created the bolt. We're now going to create a muzzle flash type thing. So go back to the media tab, grab the black plane from before and drag this to the top of your media pile. If you want to rename your layers then do so. Then I'm going to rename the top layer to being flare. Then get the light flares effect and drag and drop this onto the flare plane layer. Then set the blend mode of the flare plane layer to add. Then you want to drag the position of the flare to the barrel of the gun. Then in flare type, set it from 105mm prime to digital blocks. As you can see, it's quite blue and white, which doesn't really match the colour of the blaster bolt. 
So inside of the global controls, set the color from white to red. Then on the first frame of the bolt being fired, activate keyframing on intensity and then move ahead to the last frame of the bolt being fired and set the intensity to zero. Then on the first frame, activate keyframing for hotspot position and then follow through the clip to position it correctly. So now your flare sticks to the barrel of the gun. Now you want to drag and drop another light flare onto this plane layer and move the center of the flare to the barrel of the gun. Then I set the flare type to flashlight LED, which is quite a bright setting. And then in global, I change the color from this white to red. Then I increased the intensity and the scale to be something really high. Then you want to go to the first frame of the bolt being fired and position this correctly. Start keyframing on intensity and scale, move back by one frame, set it to zero, and then move ahead by another two frames, and then set it back down to zero. So now you just have a bright red flash as your, fla as your bullet is fired. Then I'm just going to grab a blur and then drag and drop this onto the flare plane layer. This will just make the flare more subtle and slightly more blurred. Then I duplicated the footage layer, dragged it to the top and set its blend mode to add. Then I got the masking tool and just drew a mask around my face. And then I set the feather strength to something quite high. This now integrates the blast as it's quite a bright effect it would light up the surroundings. And trim this to size. Then you also want to trim all of your other layers down to the correct size as well. Then all I did was I colour graded and integrated my footage into the shot. And this is the final effect that you will end up with. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did then please leave a like and subscribe for more content and videos. Goodbye.